Hey everyone, so um, I'm going to show you how I did this cartoon pop art zombie look. Um, I did this before, just one other time a couple days ago. Um, so I'm pretty new to um, using like, body paint. So, you know, kind of bear with me. I just did my face just because I wanted to make it more simple instead of doing like the whole chest thing. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I did this, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so I'm just going to take a lip liner pencil and I'm just going to sketch out where I'm going to place certain parts of the um, face paint, like the black and the orange parts, because I have noticed that once you place water activated paints on top of each other, they just mix. So you kind of want to sketch out where each um, part, each color is going to go. It will help a lot. And I've learned that the hard way. Right here, I'm taking this basic, um, that's what it's called. It's the basic Mayron palette, uh, Mayron paradise paint. And I'm going to take this foundation brush and you just mix water with the paint and it is like this. Um, I mixed red and white together to get like a pink, but then I think later I just go in with red to make it more opaque and less patchy. All right, and then my camera cut out like all these, of course, but I just filled the top part of the brain with orange and then I'm just filling in my eyebrows with orange. I'm not very good at blacking out or like hiding my eyebrows, so I didn't even bother with it. Um, so I just go over this again once it dries and then with the black water activated paint um, I'm just going to outline the brain and then just you know fill in the parts that I left blank And then along the way I'm just gonna draw in little lines randomly everywhere to help with that pop art feel And then I'm just filling in my lips with the black paint. I'm sure you've seen me do this before. If you haven't seen my um, pop art makeup tutorial, I will link that down below and put a, um, a notification on the screen right now. And then I'm just going in and making like random, looks like kind of like bubble. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like to mimic the brain. Um, it's really simple. Just do like a bunch of like circular half circles or whatever. Um, and then I'm just filling the eye part with black, and I probably should have used a bigger brush, but I don't know why I did not. And then I'm going to take the white. Um, I forgot I was going to do the mouth like that. So I wiped off the red paint so it didn't mix and make pink um, teeth. But I'm just taking a concealer brush with the white face paint and I'm just making teeth. I made some of them crooked on purpose. And then I think I just fill some of them anyways with black eventually. And then, like I said, it's going to make in random lines everywhere. Filling in my eyebrows again. And the trick with um, our water activated cream or water activated paint is if you want it more opaque, use less water. And it'll make it more creamy like and it'll have more color to it. And if you want it like more sheer, just add more water. And then I kind of cut off this part right here, but I'm just drawing a line um, through the teeth and then outlining the teeth individually.
I'm gonna outline my eyebrows right now. Right here, I'm going back in with the red. I, I switched to red um, paint, and I'm filling in any areas that I missed. It starts to look a little patchy. I didn't notice it while I was doing it, but yeah, you can just ignore that. And right here I'm just filling in little black spots, kind of like holes in my skin just randomly throughout. Alright, I'm taking the NYX, um, the black primal eyeshadow, which is very dark, and I, I, don't, I love this eyeshadow. Um, now I'm just going to kind of contour and just add a bunch of dimensions and shadows um, so that it just creates a lot more interesting depth. But I'm going over the all the black paint with the eyeshadow just to set it and make it look more opaque. And this part really makes the look come together. So I'm kind of just contouring everywhere, um, just making shadows, kind of, you know, you know. So I decided to make like a hole around the teeth because I thought it just looked weird the teeth to sit on top of like the skin. So I just used that black eyeshadow and just created like a little hole around the teeth and shaded that in. And then I just filled in my hair a little bit with black because it's pretty light right there. 
All right, so that's the end of this tutorial. Um, let me know what you think down below. Um, if you have any comments, um, please subscribe if you already haven't and would like to see more of my videos. Um, and please like this video if you liked it. Um, so yeah, that's all for this video. Um, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.